I was a little too honest and I guess she didn't like that. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for about like four months from like the last time I posted. I believe it was about four months. And I was trying to do like the vlogs on here, but I don't know, I just couldn't be, I couldn't get consistent. I'm trying to find like some like motivation again to like vlog. But anyways, I just wanna come on here and just update you guys on what's been going on with me in regards to like dental hygiene where have i been all that other stuff so if you guys want to know more then just keep watching so i don't know if everyone knows that i moved to oklahoma so i have both my florida license and i have my oklahoma license so in florida i am certified to give local anesthesia and then here in oklahoma i can do nitrous and local anesthesia so I have some knowledge about local anesthesia here in Oklahoma, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I always was interested in like nitrous, especially like in school when we were talking about it. I was like, nitrous is so cool. And then I've been hearing people say that, oh, they can't do nitrous because they don't wanna be responsible for someone who ODs on nitrous. But it's pretty hard to overdose on nitrous when you're giving it yeah i moved to oklahoma and it's nice so far i moved to oklahoma because of family i have a six-year-old um and my brother has a five-year-old and his family and i just wanted them to be close oklahoma wasn't like my top choice but i made that sacrifice for my kid because i want him to be close to his family it's not bad so far i believe like the pay is pretty well here I know it's better than Florida. The pay out in Florida is below the bar. And especially with the cost of living out there, it is insane. I wouldn't have been able to afford the lifestyle that I want for myself out in Florida. I am doing pretty well for myself. I'm not like wealthy. The goal of mine is to be wealthy. So that's what I, I want to achieve. I want to provide a lifestyle for my child that I didn't have when I was younger. But I'm not that I'm saying like the lifestyle that I had wasn't, you know, wasn't bad, but I just want to be able to just give my kid, not whatever he wants, but whatever he wants in a sense. Continuing on, once I moved out here and settled in, I had plans on working out here with a job. I wasn't gonna uproot me and my son's life without having a plan. And I had a plan. At, the, at that time, I had a plan to move out here, secure a place, and a job. So I came out here and I secured a job. I did like the training. And then halfway through training, they fired me. And so at first I was like, I was trying to, I was taken aback because I didn't know like what happened. Like I felt like I did what I was supposed to do, but I felt like the one thing that, <laughs> the one thing that messed me up was that one, I'm to myself. And two, when she asked me, when like the instructor asked me like how everything is going, how did I like everything? I was a little too honest. And I guess she didn't like that. So she asked me like, how's everything going? Like how did I, how did I what did I think of like the presentation? And I just was like, it's not bad, but it's a little boring, but I'm getting through it. That's just the gist of what I said. I mainly said it was boring. And so from then on, she was just like, yeah, no, we can't have her in this establishment. And, what, and another thing, I was asking a lot of questions. A lot of things didn't sit well with me going through the training. Like it felt very cult like at least to me it was just different it was a different environment for me than what i was used to so i needed to ask a lot of questions i needed to know like what exactly i was doing like how certain things was working and we're in training like you should be comfortable with asking questions that's how you learn i felt like if you're not asking enough questions you're not retaining the information good enough but yeah that's that i wasn't too quick to find another job because i was just like dang i was so dead set 
on that job like I liked the pay the pay was amazing like I felt like it would have set me up for like the plan I wanted to 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 execute for myself but you know in due time I will execute that plan but for right now we'll be okay <laughs> we'll be okay I'm not where I want to be now but in the future we will <sighs> Yeah, we will. But anyways, I wasn't in a, in a rush to find a new job, so I found something that was close by. And so far, it's it's going well. It's going well. There's some things I don't like, but we are managing. I had some issues with some of the ladies in the office. Mainly like one of them, but she's not there at the office anymore, so it's getting better. It's been like maybe two days since she's been gone. So I don't feel like someone's like watching me in a sense in regards to what I do on social media. But yeah, I'm gonna try and be more active. Like I'm active more on TikTok because it's quicker. I'm gonna try and be more active on here. I like being on here. So it's been about two days since she's been gone. So everything's been moving a little bit smoothly but still some things that personal wise for me i feel like there's more that i could be doing there's more that i could be doing but i'm gonna just wait it out also i did try temping for like two days i think it was two days i did yeah i temp for two days and it was nice i really enjoyed it i'm more so of a I enjoy temping. I feel like temping fits my personality more. Like I'm not committed to an office. No one really has to get to know me. I don't have to get to know them. And I feel like it is an introvert's dream to temp. I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like for me, I need to temp. Like I do not want to be committed to an office. I do not want you know, I don't want to feel like I have to, you know, get to know my coworkers. Nothing wrong with getting out, getting to know my coworkers, but I feel like it has been a pressure for me in my current office to like be more involved with everybody and like talk, socialize, and put my business out there. And I'm just not like that. I keep to myself, and I just like to work and go home. I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to hang outside of work. I don't want to talk to you outside of work unless I feel very comfortable. I think in like all the jobs I've had, I've had like maybe two people that I felt like I can talk to outside of work. I've been thinking about going back to school. I don't know, like I've been on the fence about being a dentist and then in the past, I've always wanted to be, I wanted to be a nurse anesthetist but i just couldn't get into the idea of going to nursing school like i was a cna a nursing assistant and i did not like it i enjoyed it but i wasn't passionate about it i couldn't see myself working all the time to be a nurse like i couldn't see i couldn't see it for myself and it's a lot of stress like nurses really do take their work home but as a hygienist, I don't get to take my work home. I leave it at work and then come back the next day. Or, you know, the patient comes back in six months or maybe, maybe not. But I've been on the fence about going to school to be a dentist. I do have plans on enrolling in school. To, I'm going to enroll in one class. I have four classes left. But the way, like, my schedule is set up, it's really hard to, like, cram two classes in a semester. So I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna do one class and then see how I feel about about going back to school. And then if it's going well, then I'll keep keep going and then I'll figure out how to, you know, work in more classes. But I'm just thinking about all the things I have to get done. I even started studying for the DAT, and it was just, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was just like, I was like, dang, do I really want it that bad? I want to do so much and I enjoy dentistry a lot, but I feel like, I don't know if I can see myself doing hygiene, being a hygienist for the rest of my life. I don't know if I can see myself. I enjoy it, but the way 
my mind is set up like I'm always wanting to know more learn more do more and I enjoy what my doctor does like I don't know I just am really being on my own and making those decisions because currently like I have to work with a doctor sometimes I feel like we're not on the same page with certain things certain treatment especially hygiene wise and I don't want to overstep so for instance we had and this just happened recently no I'm not gonna say that but because it was we're just we're just not on the same page it, it can be hard when you're not on the same page with doctor it can be hard we are we are we're making progress but I don't see myself being at my current job for too long because I want to do something else. I want to be somewhere else. I want to be, must be somewhere else. I I give myself a year. I try to give myself a year. And if I enjoy it, I stay. If not, then I go somewhere else. And for right now, I don't enjoy it. So far, everything is going pretty well. I plan on doing more sit down videos. I have my own space and I will try to do more vlogs i don't know if you guys like the vlogs i don't know i'll try to do them but i don't know if you guys like them but i don't know hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of all over the place because i was just like let me just sit down and film give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video